Hello guys, welcome back to another video. With the release of Unreal Engine 5.5, the game animation sample project has also been updated to Unreal Engine 5.5 and it includes a ton of new features including fully multiplayer replicated support. So now you can use the game animation sample project in your multiplayer game. It also has new features, things like sprinting and crouching and all of that is also replicated as you can see here. And they've added other new features and expanded the traversal system to support things like ledge catches so now if you jump towards a ledge, you can actually catch or climb up over it. They've updated the sample project to now include Touch UI, so it works and is natively supported for mobile devices. And they've added over 300 plus animation files. So they've added lots of different crouch animations, more running transitions, sprint loops, and much more. And so in this video, we'll be covering over all of the new features in the game animation sample project, everything that is new in the new 5.5 project. And if you guys are trying to learn game development in Unreal Engine 5, I have a complete multiplayer survival game course that will show you the basics on how to create a game from complete scratch that is fully multiplayer replicated. So you can join your friends, play with them, gather resources. It's a complete survival game. So it has all the things like drag and drop inventory, Inventory. You have things like a base building system, a tribe system, so you can actually raid other players, blow up their base. This course has over 70 plus hours of content, over 250 plus lectures, so there's lots of content for you to learn from. We create this open world map that you see here, and we add a ton of features, and we even host the server in the cloud on Amazon Web Services. So if you guys want to learn all about creating games in Unreal Engine, this is the best course available that will teach you everything you'll need to know. Check it out link in the description or head over to my website smartpoly.teachable.com. I'm running a limited time early access discount so the price of this course will be raised later on and don't miss out head over to the link in the description below. All right so here we are in the game animation sample project so it's been updated to 5.5 so now if you want to test out fully multiplayer replicated support all you have to do is change the play mode so just head over to the three buttons over here you're going to change the number of players to anything greater than one. So you can change it up to two, three, four, or however many you want. In my case, I'll choose two. And then for the net mode, you can just change this from standalone to listen server or client. So you can pick either one of the two. And then you just hit play in new editor window. That's usually what I do. So you can open up two uh, new editor windows. And now you can see that the game animation sample project is now fully replicated. So as you can see, we can run around, jump around everything is being replicated to the other clients or other players in the game. Uh, they've added crouch locomotion. So now if you press C, you can crouch. We have the strafing for left and right and forward. And we can get out of crouch and they've added sprint. So if you hold on shift, you see we're jogging. But if I hold on shift, now we are running or sprinting. You can also jump while you are sprinting. And they've added over 300 plus new animations in this project. So things for the crouching, as well as a couple of other things. So the main thing that we need to showcase is they've added now ledge grabbing while jumping. So if I go over to this obstacle course, and maybe we'll bring the other player here as well. Basically, you can now press and hold jump to catch ledges while falling which was not a feature in the previous version. So how this works is if you jump and press spacebar, you can now grab the ledge and climb up. So yeah, this is a really neat feature because now you can jump over the wall and grab onto it while you're falling. The previous version didn't have this, so if you tried to press spacebar, it only work if you were on the ground if your feet were planted on the ground, not if the character was actually falling down. So this is a nice feature because now you can make a game, maybe you can make only up, you know, where you have to climb all the way up and jump on different props and climb to the very top. You can make sort of a climbing game like that where you have to mantle and climb over various different obstacles. But as you can see, all of the climbing animations are replicated and they've added new mantle animations. So what you'll notice is a lot of the climbing well, falling animations are brand new animations. Now, another big feature that they've updated in this project is they have added a mobile touch user interface. So actually in a separate video, I packaged this game for Android devices. So I was able to run the game animation sample project on a Android device. However, back then I actually had to add my own input UI. So like the touch button for a jump, but now it's fully supported for mobile. So now it comes already pre-set up 
with the mobile UI inputs and also asset optimizations. So now it's optimized for the mobile platform if you're looking to make a mobile game using the game animation sample project. Now another new feature is they've added turn in place. So basically if I look over here and hit the A key or the D key to rotate the character, you can see that we can now turn in place. So if I hit left, you can see that our character basically turns in place. We have a turn in place uh, animation set up. So that is another neat feature. And there's also another new area in the project itself, which is this new uneven terrain section. So there's actually a new experimental uh, feature, which is the foot placement node, which has been added in the project. So this uneven terrain, you can see basically how the foot IK will work or how the animations will play out on a terrain that is uneven. You have different hills or valleys that the player has to climb up or down. Basically, this is just showcasing the tech and seeing how well it runs on a uneven terrain where it's not you know, completely flat like the demo level that we saw before. Now, under the hood, they've updated quite a few different things in the game animation sample project. Basically, they're using this new experimental setup, which combines state machines, choosers, uh, motion matching, and blend stack in an effort to achieve a high level of artist-driven control with less than half of the animations needed and no change in quality. So now they're actually using state machines. It's kind of funny because they were talking about how they completely removed the need for state machines now with motion matching. But here we are, we're back with state machines again. Anyways, if you guys want to read all of the major updates in 5.5, if you open up the readme by running over this readme node, it will pop open with all the information and updates. So as you can see, these are all the main updates that have been added in 5.5, all the things that we've covered over, uh, the new 300 plus animation files that have been added, uh, some of the different changes to how the tech works, as well as some new updates in the levels they've added you know, the new uneven terrain section, a new obstacle course, the new one that we just went through. And of course they have some known issues or areas of improvement that they might update. So I'm wondering if they're going to add any more updates to the game animation and sample project in 5.6. I'm guessing since there's this known issues or areas of improvement, it's probably safe to assume that they will update it. As you can see, there is some issues with things like limitations with the character movement component. So you guys can read all about these uh, issues or areas of improvements, as well as the new features by just downloading the game animation sample project. And all you have to do to download the game animation sample project is you'll need to head over to fab.com and you want to obviously log in with your Epic Games account in the top right. And you can go to Unreal Engine, so just click on the search, go to Unreal Engine, and search for the game animation sample, game animation sample, and you should see the game animation sample right over here, and you just click on the download, and that will launch the Epic Games launcher to uh, download the game animation sample project, which has now been updated to support 5.5. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. We just wanted to cover some of the new features in the game animation sample project, the fact that it is now fully multiplayer replicated, or has multiplayer replication support. Also some of the features like crouching, sprinting that have been added. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. Is this a template that you'll now be using now that they've added these new features? Let me know down in the comments. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.